Welcome back to Samsung Games, the place to find new strategy games, and today we're gonna play the brand new DLC for Strategic Command American Civil War called Wars in Americas. And we're gonna be playing it as a single player, and it gives out a bunch of new campaigns 1846 Conquest of Mexico, 1863 Eagle and the Empire, then for example 1879 Ghost of the Pacific, or 1898 remember the main, we will be playing the conquest of Mexico. 1846. April 24, 1846 to December 30, 1848. Border disputes between Mexico and the United States exploded into war in the spring of 1846. This is the fulfillment of America's manifest destiny. And, and now I played the test game for this as uh, both USA and Mexico, because so, uh, this is my third time recording this game. I'll tell you why uh, as we get into it. Uh, we're gonna play as USA for two reasons. One, it tends to be a bit more, it gives you a bit more of a story, and also because I like to play aggressively, so I want to play as the aggressor. And in this case, because we're con doing conquest of Mexico, we're going into Mexico, so we want to play as the, as the people going in, not the people in. So uh, here, we're just gonna keep the options as always. Now, I do also have a let's play for the regular game if you don't know the basic rules, but I will go over some of it here anyway. And I also have a guide exactly how combat works. So um, if if you want to know like why are the odds the way they are, I can also walk you through. Now the Mexico begins, so they start off by attacking us over here. And then they move the cavalry further. And now the map is huge, like it's insanely big. Now this is telling us that we could pick a Hickling's Prescott book, The History of the Conquest of Mexico, and that apparently in the Mexican War in 1843 the soldiers like to bring the book with them to battle, and we could do so as well, and that in which case it will give us some quotes for the book, but we're not going to do that. Okay, so let me just show you uh, the map. So, uh, firstly you start off with a bunch of units near Nuevo León. And a bunch of enemy units, so this is where the main combat is going to begin. There's also going to be another front of combat here in, in, in near sort of New Mexico, because you have uh, you own this area near Pikes Peak, so eventually you're going to be able to get some units here and then move downwards towards New Mexico. Finally, if we move towards New Orleans, uh, this is where we're going to be able to get some naval units, and then we can move down, and presumably we'll fight on a third front near Tabasco or Yucatan. Now, because this this particular scenario does not allow you to get new units or do diplomacy and research, instead what you can do is you can purchase some of the units that you have on the list. So the way the purchasing works is that you need to have enough uh, production points, which we don't have at the moment, and then when you buy something, it will be had added here into this production list. So this is what we're going to be getting in a few turns. Okay, so we're going to zoom in. Currently, we have three regular USA units, one cavalry and HQ. So what we're going to do is the first thing you want to keep in mind in this game is that there is sort of like ambush. So if you move where you see an enemy, they can ambush you. So you want to start by moving ideally with the cavalry sort of step by step so that you could, if possible, sort of see the enemy. So we can see the enemy here. Now that we can see him, we can actually move there and attack him, but it will not, um, it, they will not get sort of like an ambush attack. Now, when we hover over these odds, you can see that uh, the first one is the losses of the attacker, second is losses of the defender, so this is a good thing for us, this is like good odds. Now, uh, a lot of the terrain affects a lot, so for example, if I were to step here, I would have to attack them over a river, which would give me very bad odds, so you don't want to do that. I do, however, think that I'm going to move down here to get ready to attack them, so two, three, and we're going to start by moving. Can my artillery attack them? Not this turn. Okay, we're gonna have to wait for next turn. Two, three is fine. I guess we'll take two, three. Yeah, you can see we did three to them, two to me. How the odds are calculated is, as I already said, you can find in my uh, tutorial for this game. So I have like a guide about combat. So let's start with our cavalry. And then we'll follow with our infantry. So now it's actually zero two with our infantry. So this is very good. And we can keep moving around. We definitely do not want to be on the river. This is very important. So I just want to make sure that you're stepping over the river and not standing on. Oh, we can actually get zero one here. But again, I don't think that we can actually attack this turn. So we'll have to wait for next one. 
They do have another unit up here in San Antonio. I'm just going to move with it down to help out with my units down here. And that's kind of all we can do this turn. So I'm just going to end my turn and let Mexico go. It's going to take a few turns before we get our... Um, the, the production, our additional units, our reinforcements, essentially. Now, this mission is interesting because it differs quite a bit from the Civil War, uh, the classic Civil War that we played before, and uh, that's why I picked it. And the way it differs is that you have a um, much smaller amount of different units, so you have to focus more on trying to keep your units alive and also on making sure that uh, you you are going to have to travel great distances. So you're going to have to handle supply pretty well also. Now, I think I'm going to move here with this unit. We could get a 2-2, two, two, but I could get a 2-4. Now, I'm going to start... Oh, the infantry now... Uh, the artillery now has zero. Interesting. Now, I could push here. Oh, these are bad odds for me. Now, I'm going to check what are the properties, like the defending of this specific particular spot so what you can do is you can check the properties of the hex why is it not showing me um this is not what i want okay let's just unclick off the unit okay it doesn't want to show it to me okay yeah um so no, I, I don't know why I can click on it. So normally you can right click and it will show you like the properties of the hex. So it will show you like the properties the, of the hill and it will give you information of like how much of how defensive this is. Now I actually know that this is a hill and hills are good. Let me check it on some other hill because for some reason just not. Yeah, defense bonuses of a hill is one for cavalry. They are presumably also... What are they on? Yeah, they are in town. So town doesn't give them any defense mode. So we're actually in a good position. It's just we have bad odds for attacking. So we're not going to do that. Uh, so I'm going to start with the 2-4 here. Because I think it's pretty useful. We only did 3 damage. Uh, the odds can differ by 1 here. And we'll do another 2-3 as well. And the next time we might try to resupply. So they're actually... Ooh, they're, moved, they're running away. And they still got an attack on us. Okay, how about... If we can attack the city, I don't want to attack the city. Not really what I want. I think we're just going to stay here and we're going to try to move forward with some of our other units. Eventually. But actually, we should take over the city just for the sake of... Let's just get close to them. Just for the sake of having like this entire area. Now, if you click on our supply right now, we can see that so far we're kind of able to supply everybody. We will want to move in closer here to defend. Now I'm going to move my artillery closer as well just so I can get some shots in case someone tries to move here towards Rancho Davis so we can some somewhat defend this. And we're going to stay in position. Now I should have enough points that I'm going to be able to buy something. I'm going to buy this cavalry and we're going to try to add it into our production list. So if we, in May, June we're going to be able to get this. Uh, sorry, no, no, no. It has been added into July, August over here. This is the new one that we've gotten. And what's, uh, what, how do I know that? Well, because uh, this one is coming from Texas and this one's coming from the General USA and I bought it from the General USA. And this is very important because it will determine where you can place your stuff. Now, unfortunately, as you're gonna be able to see, when we buy stuff generally for USA, we can place them in a very bad spot, very far away from where the combat actually is. As opposed to if we, if we, uh, if we can buy it from Texas, then it's actually more beneficial for us because we can place it in Texas, which is much closer. The Bear Flag Revolt begins. California declares independence from Mexico, and the USA and UK divide the Oregon Territory along the 49th parallel. Right, so now we're going to get some nice units. So it took over Rancho Davies. We don't really care, to be honest. Um, we can take it back. So we're going to place... So these are our general USA units near New Orleans. And then this is the ranges from the Texas that can go down here, which is obviously great for... Oh, I forgot to move this unit down. I should have done that previously. That's okay. Now, right now, I definitely want to attack these ones.
One, two versus one, three. Let's start with the one, three. Okay, we just dis decimated them completely. Uh, I will take over Reynosa and kind of move ahead. And we will move with our other infantry closer to here because we definitely want to attack them in Rancho Davis, but maybe not necessarily this turn because that would not be good. I could have potentially resupplied my cavalry, but I don't feel like it's that necessary simply because we just... I feel like we have enough... We have 8 strength out of 10, so we're still doing pretty good. Now, I, I've moved with this unit and I'm gonna need to move with this unit later. Can I buy some extra additional units from Texas? No. Brigade... I think I'll wait for something better, like Marines or something. So we're just going to end our turn. Now, upon the next turn, we can take our units. And ooh, okay, so we have gotten Carney's Army of the West at Ben's Fort. So now we're going to get a bunch of units here near Pike's Peak, which is great because we can go and attack New Mexico. They attacked my cavalry because they have good odds there, so we got to be a little bit careful. Now, this FS objective, this this area is our secondary, uh, is their secondary supply, and it's our objective, so we want to move there. And I do have an idea of how we could move there with our cavalry, but first, we need to go here, below the Alabama River, and place some of our units. Now, I'm going to go back to New Orleans, and I'm going to turn my units into a transport, so that I can move them down to... Uh, Yucatan. Cannot move the last one, so they're just gonna move there. Now, there's a lot of movement you can do with your units. We could also try to move it to down to, to this port and help here. Actually, that might be a good idea. Let's maybe do that. That's gonna be a bit more fun for us because we'll get to the combat actually a little bit faster. And then, um, feature turns, I'll do the same here up down below the Alabama River. And then let's continue moving down here with our regiment. Now, the idea with this regiment unit is I could move uh, south from San Patricio towards Rancho Davis and continue with my units near Nuevo León. Or I could move to Laredo and then cross this river and try to like cut them off through Villaldama. But there might be some defenses there, so we don't know how well it's going to go. Now here, I think I'm just going to try to resupply well actually now if i were to move here i would have to attack from a river which is a really bad spot so let's just try to go like this so we'll start with the one two because if i move with my artillery i will not be able to get a shot i think yeah not this one so we'll start with the one two attack we'll see if the other people can get a good enough odds one one now, i think i'm just gonna resupply my cavalry to the maximum and I'll do, I'll do the 1-1 one, because one, I want to get them down and next time I can finish them off. And we'll move a bit closer with my HQ. Okay. Now we can click also here to just like jump to the next unit. So we can see, okay, so we have a um, unit here near the Gulf of California. And this is a frigate. Okay, I guess I'll just start moving down. Huh. Interesting. I don't think we need to worry about that all that much. Uh, there are no other units apparently. Wait, but we, we haven't played with the units near the Pikes Peak, so I'm not quite sure why it's not showing them to me. Yeah, no, good. So I think what we want to do is we want to move down towards the Spanish peak. So I'm going to start moving a little bit slower and we're going to take over this entire area. And I am going to move with my HQ like this because I want to make sure, yeah, that we own this entire area. So we're connected. So we, here it's really important to check our supplies. So we're going to have to check how this goes to make sure that uh, we will be able to get that supply through at least somewhat. I do I have still enough points I could buy the marines 
I kind of want to see what they'll be like. So I think I'm going to buy them just like so we can test it. Wait, uh, I still haven't... I feel like I still should have some movement somewhere. Not here. Oh, well... It, it, it makes it look like I should be able to attack, but it won't actually let me. But... Yeah, this unit should turn... Why can't you turn into a transport? That's a little strange. I am on the port. I guess I'll move one step further to see if I could go from there. Now this gunboat only plays at this turn, so I don't think I can go yet. Okay, so we just end our turn now. Get a lot more production points. So they resupplied as well, so it's a little bit unfortunate. But we could get a three-way attack. You get on government's uh, starts a trade with me, that's interesting. Yeah, one... F Wait, yeah, one four was... Yeah, for a second I got scared that I, I picked it wrong. That was bad for me, it's actually good for me. And I'm gonna try to get a one three here. Great. Now with this cavalry, I could move and attack, but I think I'm just gonna resupply and we're gonna move in next turn. Well, actually, I'm gonna move to, I'm gonna move next to them, but I am not going to attack yet. I don't think there's a point in just attacking the city, we're just gonna move in. I, can I move my HQ? Maybe not the best shot, but I think we're protected this way, so I think we're fine. Uh, we're gonna take these regiments and we're actually gonna go to, to the Laredo path just to kind of test it out just to see what it's gonna be like and I'll take this uh, these rangers down from Texas now let's go back to New Mexico and we're gonna go with down towards the Canadian River specifically towards the city here now, we can get a meta movement if we're moving on to the roads. Now, the reason why I'm moving in this sort of slightly ridiculous way around the roads is just because I want to have a better area of control so that if the enemy comes in, they will not necessarily like cut off me completely, but I'll still have sort of some pathing of through which the supply could potentially get where I need to get. Now, Santa Fe is a capital, but there will definitely be resistance there, but it is an objective that we want to get potentially. Now let me check where the rest of my units are, so especially my ships. Where are my ships? Yes. I need to move... Okay, so upon the next turn, we're going to be able to get these two units here, which is going to be great. Now can you turn... Yes, you can now turn to a transport, that's great. And also move this way. I'm not going to go at Yucatan yet, because they started the trade route, I feel like I don't have to attack them. So he's kind of seem to be on board with me, so I'm like, let's not fight Yucatan just yet. We'll focus on New Mexico and, and Nuevo León. That's what we want. So I'm just going to go all in on Nuevo León. Just grab all of these supply units. will take them forever to get to me, but at least they can start moving. And we'll try to get the gunboat there as well. I don't know if it will have a reach to actually attack the units. I don't think it will. But as long as it's at least it's near, I feel like that's useful. I'm also pretty excited for the... So we, as you saw, we got a little extra uh, production points from the trade with Yucatan. I'm excited about the Marines. I want to see what they're going to be like. Ooh, so we're going to get hurt here a little bit. We need to resupply these regulars. Now, it's important that you don't fully lose these units because they're quite strong. And... Uh, Abraham Lincoln is elected to the House of Representatives in the 1846 midterms. Now, if you're wondering why I had to record this so many times, it's because this game is quite sneaky. It makes you think that it's all in one window. But actually, for example, these little notifications, they're in a different window than the base game. So if you're recording just one window, as you typically want to do, then the problem is that all of this will disappear and then kind of looks weird because it's like I'm reading you something that's just like not happening. Or this is also not on the list. So in my previous recording, I would be telling you, hey, I'm placing a brigade, but you couldn't see the brigade, which is a bit ridiculous, so. Okay, I can place one that's a little bit closer. So I'm gonna place it in Texas so that I can move with them down. Now, these units up here, could I... Ooh, I could actually move in like this. Let's give that a shot. Wait, but can I... Do I have to go to where I am to get out? Hmm. 
I don't know if I have to be near a port to get them out. Maybe I should have put one in and one in. So let's try to move near this port just to see what happens if we could like occupy the port. Uh, and with the rest of our units, we're actually gonna move closer towards our own port so that we can know we know that we can get out of there if we are in trouble. And we have our little gunboat. And we, we can't turn them into a transport yet. Okay, that's fine. You also can move, that's all good. All right, so here with my regular Sunir Laredo, I'm try gonna try to just slowly move in. I just wanna see like how this is gonna go. And again, we gotta be careful about the supply because we're not gonna have a good supply there. So just, okay. Now I could resupply these people, but let's not do that just yet. I had one one on everybody. Again, having artillery placed like this is not the greatest thing, but here I'm just doing it for the sake of... I think I want to resupply my regulars. Now, I don't want to stand here because this is a river, so this is a bad spot for me. I think I'll do the 1-1, one, one, just so we can start sort of hitting them down. Because remember, we can resupply pretty well if needed. Uh, they could try to run away. I, I could also try to surround them, but then they'll just move up here towards Range Davis, which is actually not good for us, so we're not going to do that. Uh, we do have this cavalry up here, so we're going to just move it south. And I think it's time for New Mexico. So my cavalry is kind of ahead, I need to sort of catch up with the rest of my units first. And I'm going to move a little bit ahead, but not like too far. I want to see... Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any resistance here anymore. Huh? And and again, let's as always check the supply. So the supply is pretty good so far. You can also click at the this unit here and kind of see like the supply is fine at the moment. We need to make sure that everybody can get near Santa Fe so that we could also out of supply. But more mostly I just want to... Um, I just want to be able to have like multiple units there to protect me. Uh, I, I want to buy people in Texas, but I can't. Because the problem with all of this stuff is it will just take too long for me to get it to where I need to get it. So we're not even going to bother with it right now. I think we're good for the moment. So they simply resupply the cavalry. Just understandable, but I think now we might actually be able to get them down. We'll see. Because remember, every time they resupply, they don't have the same experience as the other units. That's why, for example, even though they resupplied now, my odds are better than they were before. That's because they, um, the new people, they're not as sort of smart, so to speak, or good at fighting. I don't want to use my cavalry, but my odds are just so bad. Okay, now. Now let's see what happens with my ships. Interesting. So I have to be in a port. Okay, my mistake. So so I thought I was wrong. I thought that we could just like get out, but we can't do that. So we have to go into a port. And then in there. Now we have we can get out. Now here, because this is an enemy port, I can't really stop it. Could I set it to occupy? No, because this is not an attacking ship. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're just going to move in there and get out. But I think the gunboat should be actually able to occupy this. I think next turn we might be able to click on something like, let's occupy this port. But we'll try it. We'll try it. I hope that was the gunboat. Let's get really close to this. Okay, good. I could try to move in like this and get towards this port and then um, get out here. Because remember, we do have that option. Now, I would like to move towards Villa Dama. Is anyone there? No, good. So we're just going to move down here through this. 
I'm gonna also move a bit further with this unit. This unit is weak, so we don't necessarily... Oh, well, you know what, let's, let's keep moving. No, 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 this is an enemy contact, so they have... Ooh, ooh, okay, that, that hurt, okay. And also we might not have a supply there, so we might need to fall back a little bit, but... It's gonna be fine, guys. We've got we've got help here, so we're not too worried. And also, this cavalry is moving down. We're gonna be okay. Don't worry about it. Any units that we haven't moved with yet? Okay, now I can get out here, which is very important. Oh yes, now I can move towards Santa Fe. But I think I think I need to first catch up with my infantry before I actually start attacking the people in Santa Fe. So I think at the moment I'm just gonna move down here towards Las Vegas and just try to take over that spot. Just so we can like own the city. Yeah, the fact that we got hit here, but not good. I'm actually gonna fall back with the cavalry. I don't wanna be standing on the river. And also I just wanna be able to maybe reinforce myself next turn. Cause yeah, that was not the greatest of moves there. Uh, I can can I still attack with this cavalry? Yes. With this artillery, I mean. You can also move a bit ahead, so do so. Oh yeah, and we have these people near New Orleans, so I need to move them into a boat. So that they can start moving towards where I need them to be. Alright, but actually I think that this is a good time to end the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down the comments and you can click on the right to watch the next episode of this because I, I, I want to play this one a little bit longer. See you there. Bye bye!